What's up guys? It's Brian at Two Indians. How's it going today? Hey, I'm super excited today because finally we are like almost at the last step of our bobber build. And what is that going to be? Yes, my friends, we are installing these Super Shocks from Super Shock. I'm really excited about putting these on. I think not only are they gonna look good, but the idea obviously is to improve the ride quality. I uh, am gonna be using this motorcycle jack to jack up the bike. I'm a little nervous about that because, you know, frankly, pumping the bike up in the air and letting it rock back and forth on a jack is a little scary to me. I'm sure the first time you guys ever put your bike up on a jack was like, whoa, guarantee it's gonna be easy because the instructions look really easy. And by the way, let me just show you the instructions. Ah, I gotta go get them. You know, I mean, look at that. Uh, support the motorcycle, loosen the bolts, da -da -da -da, install the shock, raise the bike, install the left side, do the, this is our right side. You know what uh nine steps not even 10 steps so let's get started on that i needed a second set of hands to level the bike so the jack would fit underneath and then i left the kickstand down when we jacked it up the bike was super steady once it was in the air i removed the saddlebag first and then carefully removed the right side shock bolts starting with the top then lowering the jack a little bit allows you to access the lower bolt without removing the exhaust then I repeated the process on the left side. It took me about 20 minutes tops. I'm using a set of blacked out bolts from Greg at GNS Customs. The 2019 requires two short and two long bolts, so Greg is sending me a replacement shorter bolt. Super Shocks includes two sets of spacers. Check your instructions for where they go based on your model year. I added some blue Loctite because having your shocks fall off is no bueno, but just reverse the process to get everything back together. It cannot be any simpler. You're probably going to want to raise or lower the bike just a little bit to get the bolts to line up. Tighten everything down and then of course torque to factory specs something I rarely do. Repeat the process on the other side. Just a pro tip here, when you install the shocks, make sure you look at them to make sure the sticker is in the position that you want it. And then lower the bike down you're gonna need somebody to steady the bike while you level it off and then pull out the jack. I gotta tell you, this is probably one of the easiest big projects I've done to the bike. I mean, obviously you gotta have a jack, but I got, man, it's just, this is so simple. Uh, I've been working on this maybe 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And I have both new shocks installed and in place. I mean, yeah, I gotta put the bag back on here, but that's it. I say we go take it for a ride and see how this thing feels. Hey, before I show you some ride video, I wanna introduce you to these guys at Super Shocks. Now, they don't have the same big name brand recognition as Progressive or Olean's, but they are an American-made company with a history in performance and racing. To see which shock is right for you, they request that you fill out this online form, tell them about which bike you ride, what year it was made, whether you ride two up, kind of what your weight is, and how you heard about them. By the way, you can drop my name if you like. Now they will get back to you pretty quick, but just for reference, these shocks for the bobber are around $650. And full disclosure, because of my millions of fans, okay, dozens of fans, they agreed to send me a pair of shocks for an evaluation period, and if I didn't like them, I could send them back. If I did like them, I promised to do a review video. So let's go take these things for a ride. So immediately, I noticed the ride just smoothed out like I'd just got off a dirt road and onto pavement. 
You still feel the road's imperfections, but unlike the factory shocks, the small, familiar transitions between streets, bumps, and typical defects feel diminished as if someone had smoothed the road out while you were napping. But that's not the reason you want to upgrade, is it? No. No, you want better shocks because you're tired of feeling like you've been kidney punched when you go over the railroad tracks. I mean, these things could definitely save you from a trip to the chiropractor because, honestly, look at this before video from a section of road under construction. The bump is so bad, it knocks the camera out of position. And with the super shocks, you still get the bump, but you don't need to replace any fillings. If you're looking for a shock, I really recommend the Super Shocks. Um, I can't say they're better than the Olean's or the Progressive 444's or the Progressive 970's, but I can tell you they're every bit as good. I like working with smaller companies and Super Shocks seems to be a smaller outfit than these big, you know, conglomerates like uh, Progressive, which is also owned by Performance Machine. Uh, and you know you get customer service you can email those guys and they respond right away I love the fact that these are adjustable you know you just twist that collar on there every one of those marks on the shock tube is an eighth of a turn and it's easy for you to get through an adjustment on it and it's easy for you to experiment you don't have to get out a special tool they give you a weight chart and they tell you where it should be set that's where I set ours I set them for Barbara's weight not for my weight <laughs> believe it or not I'm considerably larger than she is <laughs> Hey, one last thing worth mentioning. Unfortunately, replacing the rear shocks has exposed the excruciating fact that the factory front springs are just as bad as the rears were. And now I have added yet another chore to my list. So if anyone can make a recommendation for some front coils, leave a comment below or shoot me an email. I really would appreciate it because I am on the hunt. Thanks for watching, my friends. Two Indians, I'm out of here. Peace. Tonight
What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Brian at Two Indians, how you doing? Hey, today I'm super excited because I'm gonna get these Super Shocks installed on the bobber. Let's take a look at them. Hey guys, what's up? Brian at Two Indians. Look what I got right here. Some Super Shocks. These are some shocks that are going on the bobber. I'm so excited about these. Check out this build quality. It looks really nice. Not too heavy, but heavy enough that you know they're gonna be a quality piece. Um, I'm also kind of excited too because I read through the instructions and it seems pretty simple. I'm gonna be using a motorcycle jack, don't laugh at me, for the first time today. So I'm a little nervous about that. Shit. 